Hey everybody, Billy Speed Force Productions here, and welcome to part two of Sonic Lost World. Last time we did Windy Hill, and now in this part we're going to be doing Dusty <clears throat> Desert Ruin. So let's get to These it. These animals are quite underwhelming. I'm disappointed in you, incompetent fools. Violently disappointed. We don't care about your disappointment, master. Do you care now? It's the conch signal. Next time, bring better animals. I question how Eggman even got that thing to begin with. Like, how did he get it? Anyway, so yeah, this is Dusty Ruins and the <laughs> Desert Ruins. I keep messing up the name. I'm so bad. Um, yeah, so this is obviously a desert level, and yeah, I've got nothing. Uh, I'd say I'd say this is a pretty decent level. Like, it's not the greatest desert level. Then again, desert levels aren't the greatest in Sonic games. I mean, there is a... Oh, what happened there? What the... There we go. <laughs> I messed that up, I'm gonna go back. There we go. Ah! Oh well. Anyway, um, so I figured in this video we could like talk about uh, potential stuff for the 30th anniversary of Sonic that's coming next year. Now, I have no idea. We know a couple of things that are gonna happen. There's gonna be a game, there's gonna be... there's obviously gonna be comics. That's a definite. And of course, there's even that lore book that's... Oh, I died. Uh, there's that book which explains the lore of Sonic the Hedgehog. So, I guess that's pretty cool. It's kind of worrying because the lore in Sonic is kind of messed up at the moment. Because there's inconsistencies of what's in said, like, games. But the book is being done by Ian Flynn, the person who wrote the uh, first two seasons of IDW Sonic. So that's something to look forward to. Uh, and there's probably going to be some like new animation to celebrate by like Tyson Hask or something. Uh, I would say they probably have the Sonic movie too, but no, they're not going to have it then. Because, let's face it, uh, the movie's coming out in 2022, unless it gets delayed or something. I feel like it would. Just, that's just me, though. Uh, this is the Eagle Wisp, just by the way, and it is very useless. In fact, I'm just going to say it now, the Wisps are the most useless thing in the entire game. Like. There was no need for them in the game, and for some reason, Sonic Team thought it was a good idea to include them when it was. Anyway, so yeah, going back to the topic of the 30th anniversary, um, so, uh, so, so yeah, there's definitely gonna be a game. Don't know what kind of game we're gonna get. It's play. Like, it's, it's going to be the main series, let's face it. Um, and then there's... Maybe like a little spin-off game, possibly. Not, not guaranteeing that. Uh, there's even the speculation that we'd get a Sonic Adventure remake. But like... I don't think that's going to happen. Because like... I mean, Sega could have ported 
could have done a re proper remake of Sonic Adventure ages ago, but they didn't. All they did was just port the game to like the current platforms at the time. But I digress. Um, I mean, if they do a Sonic Adventure remake, it would be the worst thing. Cause like, I mean, there there is a few issues if they do a remake. Like, they could change the script. It could be the fact that it's gonna be not the original cast. It's that kind of stuff that people are worried about, and that they might change gameplay elements and level design and all that. But then again, previous remakes that have come out have never done anything like that, so I don't know if to say that that will happen. I mean, it could. Ah, what? What do I just do there? Ah, that was great. <laughs> I messed myself up then. Wow. Oh well. Uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, so... The possibility of a remake is kind of slim, but given that people are talking about the Sonic Adventure era again, and how much they miss that kind of stuff, like, I mean, it, it could, it could happen. You never know. I love the parkour system, I really do. Gonna do the bell. <gasps> oh jeez. That was close. We, we got the red ring, so that's that's good. Yeah, it's been like a hot minute since I last played this. <laughs> um, what else could they do for the 30th anniversary that I think of? Uh, I mean, they could announce, like, maybe a new cartoon series on TV. The chances of another Sonic TV cartoon is kind of slim, especially given that we have those animations that are done by Tyson has coming out. I mean, we haven't had one since, uh, Challenge Space. The one that was made to celebrate the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. So there's that. I wonder where that went. Sweet. Alright, let's finish the stage. Since we're an idiot. Ah! And that's the end. Oh, messed it up. <laughs> um. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else that they could probably do for the 30th anniversary. <laughs> I haven't got many ideas. Is there a cutscene? No. Okay, maybe this one will have a cutscene, I feel like. Yeah, this one's gonna have a cutscene. You, fat one! Go take care of that blue pest! Hi! Who are you calling fat? You! Now! If you hurry and destroy Sonic, I've got an even bigger sandwich. Oh boy! Sandwich! <laughs> oh, help me. Okay, so that's our next, uh, Zeti. Deadly Six villain. Uh... I don't remember the name, I'll be honest. Yeah, that's that's something that's an issue with these characters, these Deadly Six characters. You don't only remember the names of the first two. Man, that's not good for characters. But I do remember the personalities of each, so... I guess I have that, but I don't know if that's a good thing. 
given that, well, I should know the other things, like the name. Uh, anyway, so, this, this stage, uh, it's kind of weird and feels out of place for this area, given that, well, this isn't in a desert. This is, like, like a woodsy area that has, like, honeycombs or something, whatever they're called. I mean, you don't even see any bees, you just see all these other things. Oh wait, maybe the robots count as that, actually. I mean, it's a pretty good stage. And just because, like, I'm not doing any of the running, it's actually the game doing that itself. It makes me think of, uh, the mock speed sections in Sonic 06. And that's quite interesting to compare it to, actually. <clears throat> um... Yeah, let's go back to the topic of the 30th anniversary. Uh, yeah, I've still got nothing. <laughs> I, I think I've said what I need to say. Um, I mean, I am worried for what the 30th anniversary holds, especially since, like, we haven't had anything major from Sonic this year aside from, like, the movie. And even the IDW comic releases. I mean, we've had stuff this year, but it's not like anything like Sonic Team. I mean, yes, there was Team Sonic Racing that came out last year, but that wasn't Sonic Team. That was Sumo Digital, the same people who did All Stars Racing. <clears throat> I apologize for the frame rate, by the way. I. It's, it's normally like this on my PC, because like, for some reason some things about this game run really slow. But it's not too bad, at least it's not all the time. That's one thing. Um... <clears throat> what the... No, 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 I... I don't know what I pressed. What did I press that made me open the thing? Whatever the uh... Whatever the uh... Item thing is. As a matter of fact, why is, why is that even... I mean, yeah, it was on there on the Wii U, but like, again... Why... why do we need it? Because we didn't need it in previous Sonic games, so what's the point here? Anyways, so yeah, I'm I am worried for what the 30th anniversary will hold for Sonic, because like it could be great, it could be bad, it could be in the middle, <clears throat> in the middle, not the meal. <laughs> um, but yeah, we 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 don't know, and all we can do is just wait and see. I would like to think. After Sonic Forces, Sonic Team are taking their time to polish the next game, and heck, even like making sure it's not like this bland game that Forces was known for being. Does this mean no dessert? Yes, it does. And um, yeah, like. Again, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see what the 30th anniversary holds for Sonic. There's a couple of things to look forward to, but we gotta just be careful with what we wish for. Hmm. Power levels green, Orbot? Power levels stable. Extractor activated. In the game, Robo has a robot voice with the, like, the robot filter. But in Sonic Boom, he doesn't even have that, so I'm like, what? Good, good. Hmm. Oh, oh, 
yeah, that's the stuff. Phoebe, baby! I'm feeling stronger by the second! Level is fluctuating. Reaction unstable. Better shut it down quick, boss, or it will lock into overload. Shut it down! Oh, why just stop, boss? I felt great! The machine is unstable. We just want to borrow some of the planet's energy. We don't want to destroy it. Speak for yourself. Okay, so we can see a bit of motive there. And look at that, we got all the red star rings, so that's pretty cool. And here's another level that makes no sense for this location. Desert. What? No, desert ruins. Like, when you think dusty ruins, you don't think desert. It, it's literally the most out of place level in this game. I mean yeah, we had the we had the honeycomb thing. But like this just just doesn't add up, in my opinion. I mean maybe I'm just not seeing something here. We don't know. Oh <laughs> I didn't respond quick enough. Oh no, I should have taken the other route. Again, it's been a while since I've played this game. Hey, get off me. No, I just wanna... There we go. That's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, some enemies you have to hit it a certain way, and then other ones you just do it the normal way like that with the homing attack. I get, I get why they did it, I guess. Like, to give it a bit of a challenge. Oh, yeah. No, no, no! It should have been running. That's my fault. Hey, come on. There we go. I mean, the music is quite nice, but again, this this stage just doesn't fit. I'm going back for that red ring, because, I mean, I collected it at first. It's a shame it doesn't, like, do what the, uh, the Sun and Moon medals did in Unleashed, where... Okay, that just happened with the motor bug. Uh, I'm not joking. I mean, I... Eh, kinda am, but you get my point. Alright, let's take this way. I don't think I've ever taken this way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I've, I definitely remember when I may have taken that way. Other than that, I've never taken that, that route before. I mean, if they wanted to make like a Lux Hex area that's to do with like sweets like why not just make an entire area for it why why just a single level i guess maybe i would like to think that maybe this was like a scrapped concept for a uh, sweet mountain from colors i don't know i just get i just get that kind of vibe especially since this would have fit better with sweet mountain than it does desert ruin Especially since, like, you saw at the beginning of the stage, it showed the text being changed to have an extra S. Which... Yeah... I don't know, maybe someone at Sonic Team felt really proud about it. Just taken this way? Oh, look at that. Oh, it just takes me back to where I was. Oh no! My rings! <gasps> no! Okay, I have no rings, so I've got to be careful with this. Okay, I got all the red star rings. And we finished the level. One more level to go, and then that's the it for this part. Oh, we're going on longer this time. I think it's because of what happened in the first stage. 
I can play it quick, it's just I didn't in that time. Alright, so, oh yeah, that's another thing. Some stages will make you, like, uh, I'll explain after this. One word of helpful advice, diet and exercise. That's three words! Hey! Whoa! I think I'll have you for dessert! Don't talk with your mouth full. Yeah, right. Hey, I forgot the mustard! I'll be right back! Hey, where do you think you're going? Anyways, as I was saying, there's a uh, there's this thing where you have to like destroy a bunch of enemies in order to get like a certain number to access the next lot of levels. It's only at certain points, if I remember correctly. And I remember when I played Sonic Lost World on my Wii U for the first time, because that's when I first played this version of the game. Uh, I did it pretty well. I never had to backtrack just to destroy some enemies. So in a way, you could say I aced the game pretty well. I think it comes from where I liked the game or something. Now, for those that are, haven't played the game and they want to know how they can make sure they've successfully gotten what they need, what you just need to do is just like destroy as many enemies as you can, well, see, uh, and find as many capsules that have animals inside. Once you have that, you are good to go. Okay, can I? Thank you. Anyways, yeah, so we're in our final boss of this area, and uh, it's, it's interesting. Uh, we just have to avoid a tornado and just make our way. Okay, I'm just gonna be quick. Okay, that's fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. We're good. Oh, yeah, and we have Drill with us to make sure we're safe. And we have to make sure that we have drill on us the entire time while we're in that dirt, otherwise we'll die. And we don't want that. And in this stage you just have like a tornado. And you just gotta make sure you just don't get caught in the tornado, that's the most basic way I can explain it. Ah, dang it. I think there's a red star ring up there. Oh well. I can just get it another time. Probably outside of the playthrough since this isn't a 100% completion playthrough, so it doesn't matter. Oh, careful. I feel like having the loop de loops in a stage that where you have to run away from a tornado kinda feels excessive. I mean, it's kind of there for the challenge, I guess, if you want to go there. And we got the checkpoint. Oh, oh yeah, I missed one. I forgot. I remember now. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Alright, that's one hit. I can't remember how many hits. But I've got a few. Oh, we found him. I think we just got yeah, we just gotta follow him to the next area. Just be careful here. Cause I I suggest doing parkour when you do this. Yeah, just do that to avoid the attacks. And you'll be just fine until that. And there we go. The boss is done. And there you have it, that is Desert Ruins. So, that's pretty cool. Now let's see what happens afterwards. I hone your abilities. I equip you with the most powerful mechs I can create. I even give you a giant sandwich. And you still disappoint me. 
I'm a compassionate hmm. man. That well, shell looks like talk. trouble. Hold on a second. Sonic! Uh, I think that thing in Eggman's hand is... Gone! Oh. Eggman's shell is gone. <laughs> That was a mistake. Whatever. When is it a mistake to take your toys away? When it's the only thing keeping six angry Zeti from controlling my mechs, you moronic hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Huh. Oh, oh. Strike, brother. Make the bull pay for our abuse and enslavement. Shiver me timbers! to run away from a fight, Tails, but I don't want to see you get fried. Not getting fried would be nice. Warbot, we are leaving! Yeah. Oh man, I should have listened to you, Tails. Oh, you think? And that is what happens. And now we're going on to our next one. In part three. So that'll be it for this video. I thank you all for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't way you don't miss any future videos. Uh, be sure to follow me on all my social media pages. Support me on Patreon. All links will be in the video description. And I'll see you all next time. Till then, take care. Bye bye. <laughs>